Hello everyone, this is the ADHD Podcast. I am here with these fuckheads, Derek and Awara. So today we're going to be playing Overrated. Um, Why the fuck did you count down from five on your hand? I'm sorry, that just triggered me. <laughs> I don't like that very much. My biggest question is, why did you sound so robotic? <laughs> because we feel like shit right now. <laughs> Polly does. Anyway, we're playing this. overrated, and I'm gonna be giving out bonus points. And again, like the other podcast, if you win the game, you also cannot win the game. Uh, it all depends on your bonus points and your game points all together. See, everyone thinks I bully Derek, but in reality, he bullies us. And today, we're seen. using Trump as Rando. What the fuck? Asshole. And I think today, as Trump, he's going to be the rando. So what if Trump wins? Wait, what? <laughs> what if Trump wins? He's not, he can't win. It's, does, it, does Trump need to be the host next episode? We need to have Biden now. <laughs> we need to Biden magic the eight ball. And those of you who, don't, who can't see what we're talking about, we have this little ball. It's that, a magic it's uh, a, eight ball type thing. Where you ask it questions and you slap it and it responds. For example. But it sounds like Trump's voice and I'm going to get one of Biden. No. (laughs) (laughs) No. Also, we brought back the Oreos. Hell yeah. I wonder if they got an Obama one, too. I don't even know if I should eat this. I got an upset tummy. But everyone else did it. I don't want to feel involved. What the fuck? <laughs> I like Oreos, but I got upset tummy. Anyway, today I am the host. My name is Jacob. Um, so I'm going to be... Well, who are we? Kind of like the judge, kind of. Who are we, though? <laughs> oh, who cares? Really? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to care. <laughs> anyway, this is Matt's Aurora. I'm Derek. And Derek, he already introduced us in the beginning, you dumbass. Were you not fucking paying attention? I don't remember him saying our names. Yeah. I guess that's why this. When is you ADHD go back, pod- you when you go back, you see. Uh, well, I, I guess I guess this is what is ADHD podcast is. We always suffer from ADHD. Because you're a dummy. Or as I like to say, everyone else is suffering from each other's ADHD. Yeah. They all affect us differently. All of the above. So we got Trump as a rando. Fuck. Not even a little bit. Not even one percent. <laughs> oh god. Every time you touch it, it's gonna keep accidentally entering. So what, yeah. what's our? Oh, by the way, <laughs> can, we, can, I, can I say the rules of the of what overrated is? Yes. So the guys, if you don't have never played overrated, it's quite similar to Cards Against Humanity, except you're you're using it, locations. It's like reviews, like locations and then reviews. Yeah, it's basically you're reading the reviews. My speaking of reviews, can I have a little sub, little aside view? What? So I explained this to Jago. I'm not sure if I explained this to you yet, <laughs> but <laughs> because of the army makes fun of the PT belt so much, if you actually try to buy a PT belt on Amazon and you look at the reviews. They're the most hilarious shit that you'll ever nah, read. No, the most hilarious reviews I've read and are so funny is the ones for the sugar-free Haribo gummies <laughs> on <laughs> Amazon where people are describing the fountains of shit that came out of their assholes In the from, the, from the fucking gummy bears. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most funny, Actually, okay? Well, keep, let's keep, keep, talk, keep talking, because I'm going to try to find what I was talking about. I don't want to reread the stuff that I read on the ones I'm talking about. No, thank you. I'm already going to put Rando for the start. All right. Uh, what was the location? Well, we haven't got the location yet. Yeah. You ready? Go ahead. I'm just going to keep searching anyway. Truck stop off I-94. Okay, let's see what we... Um, Trump has already got his card. I'm kind of curious on what kind of truck stop this is. Apparently the one off I-94, so. (laughs) Uh, It's funny to me. Damn it. It's funny to me. Um, Okay. Uh, I'm going to put this down. It's the one that makes sense to me. That's your point, Dre. The heavy bean on my toe is fading. Oh, why do I have... Oh, point tray? Yeah. Oh. 
guys are wondering, I tattooed a bean on my toe because I can. I, ta I tattooed a lot of things on my body, so. I also tattooed a little teeny tiny knife on my thumb so truck I can stop. stab people with my thumb. Alright, so for the reminder of the card, truck stop off 994. Lots of raw talent on show here. That would have had to have been Trump's. That has to be Trump's. Well, now I know it's Trump's. <laughs> Truck stop off I-94. Always sex noises oh. coming from this place. <laughs> <laughs> Not the best place to meet your in-laws for the first time. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> now we're one. Uh, that's me. I'm absolutely lost. <laughs> Can I have the, the, the point card? <laughs> I keep seeing the game when oh. I close my eyes. Okay, if everyone wants to know... Hey, Roy, grab that bonus point off that ground, please. Where is it? Oh, here it is. I guess I got a bonus point. <laughs> keep seeing the fucking game every time I close my eyes. I don't, I don't know what's more frustrating. The fact that I'm not <laughs> and very sick from the antibiotics I'm taking. Or the fact that I keep seeing the fucking Watch Dogs game playing every time I close my fucking eyes. So Aurora's been trying to play new games. And uh, she finally took my advice on a game. And she's playing Watch Dogs, the first one, for the first time. And she's so slow at it, it drives me crazy. Man, shut up. I don't know the controls yet. I keep fucking them up. I totally forgot to draw. I probably already know what this is going to be. Your local gas station bathroom. Oh my god, another gas station? <laughs> Squishy, are you okay? Baby girl? She was crying. Put Trump's card. I think it's certainly possible. I think it's probably unlikely. Ugh. What? I don't know. You don't make sense. The the ads. Oh, why am I reading this aloud? My eyes hurt. All right, I'm gonna go with that one. Draw. Your local gas station bathroom. The ad says, "Where dreams become reality, but getting attacked by a stray mutt with rabies isn't a dream of mine." That sounds terrible. I'm kind of curious what yours is, Aurora. The free bread is hard as a rock. I could have fuck? used... <laughs> I could have used a baguette they gave me as a baseball bat. Wee <laughs> wee, oui, oui, motherfucker. <laughs> there was a hornet's nest hiding behind the entryway and multiple people on the tour got stung. Wait, what? I'm going to go with the free bread. No. That was hornet's nest. I was the dog. Well, Trump. I think it's totally ridiculous. Okay. The Trump has spoken! <laughs> All hail the magic Trump! Okay. That sounds so terrible out of context. The woods behind Arby's. You okay, Roar? No, I don't feel very oh, good. Oh, by the way, I, I gotta show you a... Uh, there's a GTA 5 thing where they actually use baguettes as a weapon. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh my god, I gotta see this. I think Aurora might appreciate this too. It's on roleplay. You hear what he said, Aurora? Huh? Apparently in GTA, there's a in in the roleplay. They, apparently, they make it to where you can use a baguette as a weapon. Hold well, on, hold on. I gotta go on YouTube because he's one of my favorite YouTubers. Why'd you play one? We haven't even done the next one. I don't care. That's gonna be the card. And yes, he did. It was something about Arby's. Arby's? I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go off. With, even though he hasn't read it aloud, I'm gonna write and place mine down anyway. Squishy, what's wrong, baby? Pause. Can you guys see what's wrong? Yeah. I'll pause the podcast for now. God, I don't know why my brain thought of that. I'm not gonna say it because it's stupid. Go ahead and say it. No, it's fucked yeah, up. It's recording now. Go ahead. No. Because I don't actually mean it. My brain just thought of it. What? See this right here? That's a baguette in his hand. 
Why does he have a baguette as a weapon? Show him around. Gonna beat the shit out of him. And they actually did a drug deal where he robbed. They actually <laughs> did a drug deal, a drug deal where they robbed a drug dealer using baguettes. That's kind of funny. I want to see that one day. <laughs> it's highly effective on people who are afraid of gluing. The woods behind or Arby's. Or if they're afraid of crazy people. <laughs> the woods behind Arby's. The woods behind Arby's. Card, it's right there. Uh, um. Anyway. Um. Uh, I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna draw now. I'm fucking dying over here. Aurora's taking an antibiotic that made her really sick. Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. The woods behind Arby's. Overcame my fear of pooping in a public place here. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That That's back. oddly specific. That would be scary. <laughs> that brings back childhood, though. Wait, what? Why are you doing taking shits behind Arby's in the woods? No, we, we took shits in the woods. We didn't, it wasn't behind Arby's. You remember uh, the Red House? Yeah, you mean Dayton Lake Estates? Yeah. <coughs> or oh, the swamp? Oh, God. Yeah. Had an alligator nest behind our house and everything? Not really a nest. It was just a swamp that dried up in the back. Yeah. This place is like if Paula Dean and Guy Fury had a love child and then started a business to support their expensive drug habits. Love, she's not calming down. I don't know what to do. She's she's not telling us. I saw a rat cooking the food in the back by controlling the chest hair. What the fuck? <laughs> Remy? <laughs> uh, stupid little. Not Ted Tui. More, uh, I, I'm trying to think of a good joke for this and I can't. <laughs> I, there's no good joke for this. Sunny. I'm gonna have to go with the rat cooking just because it goes with it. That was mine. Sorry, it took me a second to process what go. you said. You're, you chose Remy? That was your ultimate card? Yeah, I I can't really think right now. That pill's really kicking in. Oh, God. And it's kicking my ass. I feel like I'm gonna throw up everywhere. The cosmetic surgery office. The cosmetic surgery office? Um, Put in trumps. I this doesn't make sense, but I'm going to play it. All right, Thank the cosmetic can. surgery office. I wish I had this card before. Fuck. Does anyone know if they still sell the jumbo sized cheese ball here? Comment <laughs> underneath, please. <laughs> Why do they sell cheese balls in a cosmetic place? Ah, uh, my head. Would have liked this place a little more if there weren't drunk men dressed in leprechaun garb running around all over the place. What? Read it. I, I heard you. I just, what? The giant mob of paparazzi. Kept taking photos of someone inside. Turns out it was just Flo from Progressive. <laughs> I'm not going with the drunk men dressed in leprechaun guard. I was cheese balls. I was Flo getting oh. cosmetic procedures done. Here you go, Trump. Hey, Flo, you want to go get some cheese balls? You won, Trump. Wait, let's see what we got here. I would say maybe. Okay. <laughs> I like how, what I don't like about that particular one is that it sounds like he's going to say something else, but he just doesn't. No, oh, fuck it. We're yeah. including Rando just because if he makes it to five first, I can go to the fuck to bed. But then knowing me, you don't have a host for next episode. We rock, paper, scissors and fight to the death. Well, you also got a bonus points, so. Yeah. That's true. Bonus points lead to the final Congress. <laughs> What do you say about Congress Trump? I have Trump? the card for that. <laughs> what do you say about Congress Trump since you're the president? Or was the president? Oh, no, slap the button. Oh my god, this one I just draw out fit the fucking Congress. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> now you gotta throw up. Oh, 
throw that one away. You I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm going to trade it for another one. Okay. Okay. Uh, a corrupt business hiding behind a fancy exterior. Boycott. <laughs> yeah, that would have went well with it. Yeah. Right? All right. Oh my God. Congress. Honestly, sense. my expectations were on the floor, but the smell alone must gave me, almost gave me a stroke. The smell alone gave you a stroke? I guess so. Love hate relationship. Do I always have a great time? Yes, I. Yes. Do I always leave with a new venereal? Venereal. Yeah, disease. Also, yes. I love. Been, what's the matter? Yeah. I've been an unpaid intern here for a few months now. Oh Venting God. here really don't know why. They just pay with minimum wage. <laughs> <laughs> that one that one won. Okay. Not me. It's not me. That was the venereal disease. <laughs> why does Trump keep getting the good ones? Because <laughs> he knows I want to go to bed. That would be a great thing for all of humanity. See, he wants me to go to bed. Oh my god. Guys, this is the episode where everyone feels like crap. Aurora feels sick, Jacob's tired, and I have a massive headache. The DMV. Why'd you force us to do this, Dick? The DMV. The DMV. Because I don't like being late, and I didn't want to force you. The DMV? Oh my god. Uh, why are they so far away? I don't want to move. Oh god. I don't know why I played that one. Their fish tags are better than any orgasm I ever what had. Is <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are their fish tags at the DMV? <laughs> Excuse me, did you steal someone's lunch? <laughs> What's the challenge at my number? Bruh, that person went into the break and stole their food. It gets worse. What? Okay, I'm going to read the whole thing. Now, fish sticks are better than any orgasm I've ever had. If anyone wants to challenge that, my number is 555. Five, five. Five, <laughs> 9550. Hey, we want to try that number out. All right, let me see. God damn it. Does it only have like a like three? Is it is it only those numbers, or is there an area? It's code? a full number. It's a full number, area code, and all. I guess I don't know. Who has a five 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 number? Who does? Ah! Uh, I've never met anyone with a five 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 number. Ah! Uh, Your call cannot be completed if. Okay. <laughs> we, we were tempted. Yeah. I guess he was a pussy after all. The DMV. You. <laughs> used to come here all the time with my crazy and controlling wife, just writing to say I miss blowing off steam with Grimmy Greg and the rest of the gang. Okay, then. <laughs> this is the most messed up place on earth. Do not go here, even if there is a gun to your head. Well, then. I have to go with the fish decks and... That was me. I was the fish decks. <laughs> of course you were. <laughs> God damn you can get a bonus point for that one. Fuck. Uh. Ah, fuck. Okay. What is it? Put it? No, read it. Read it. Sephora. Sephora? I don't even know what that is. So. It's a makeup store. Oh, I just changed it because Jacob doesn't know what it really is. J.C. Penny. Oh. Another one you're not familiar with. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you say on board them? No. Well, you're actually correct if that's what it's you're thinking. It's a place that normally more feminine people go. <laughs> like me. J.C. Penny. Oh, their men's section is a joke. I have this place logo tattooed on my back. Makes me feel like I always have a piece of it. Fucking J.C. Penny logo tattooed on your butt. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, 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 it's like a tram stamp. It's yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking JC Penny logo on it. Hey, hey, Trump, would you like a JC Penny tramp stamp? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) 
All right. What's the okay. Lemon? Bring back bottomless, bottomless mimosa brunch. They have the most is a JCPenney. My butthole will never be the same. <laughs> <laughs> that was unexpected. That was unexpected. <laughs> now, their ass blown at it at JCPenney. <laughs> well, butthole won. That was mine. <laughs> mine was mimosa. <laughs> that was a good one, too. <laughs> Trump almost won that, let's be honest. What's wrong, Squishums? <laughs> Gu guys, don't mind self, she's having a tantrum today. Goodwill. Goodwill? Yeah. Goodwill. How should we rate Goodwill? Why are we all saying that word? Goodwill? Shut up. Goodwill, Goodwill, Goodwill. Let's see, uh... <laughs> I'm going to put this one down. I wish I could have saved that one, but I don't have anything else good. Fucking hell. Fucking butt. get your ass blown out of the fucking JC penny. <laughs> I can't get over that. All my cards are shitty. I want to go to bed. I'm just going to play. I can't wait to go home. Goodwill. If there was ever a nuclear war, this is where I'd hide. Infrastructure. Infrastructure. Strong as my ex-wife's dies. <laughs> the employee uniforms were a little too revealing for my taste. I'm just, I guess that Goodwill has a new sales pitch. <laughs> A flight broke out. No, a fight broke out. Someone yelled, World Star. What the fuck? And I got soccer punched. The video went viral. What the fuck? Not what I was expecting, but I've ever, honestly, never felt so <laughs> Question, is that a JoJo reference? I have no idea. Who was the fight? I don't know. Huh? No, that wasn't me. Who, huh? got, who got into the fight? I was not the fight. No. Oh. I can't remember what How many does Trump was. have now? Four. Four. He doesn't. Five, he one does, more. We're already done. He doesn't I'm count. He doesn't count. I still have to take a bath in my Trump God. don't count. He's like the I random. I feel good. No, we said we were going to get to there and then go off whatever we have because I don't feel good. I'm going to. I'm very dizzy right now and I feel like I'm going to throw up. College dorm room. Ooh. I have a feeling about this one. I'm not going to lie. Are you, you know, Fuck. I forgot I have to read. College dorm room. No, you don't. I have to read. I still have to read to figure out which card I got to play. My brain is, like, running on, like, three megabytes per second. Okay? I love you. Left my number for the cute employee that helped me and he never contacted me. Jake, if you see this, please text me. I want to carry your offspring. Oh my fucking god. That sounds stalkerish as fuck. A lot of Wait, really... what's his name Jake? Someone's looking for you. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to bet it's at the hotel. Like, that's probably the one person like that. A lot of really cool and interesting art at this v venue. Perfect place to get some culture. E ah! This dress code was very distracting. I don't know how they found enough employees willing to dress as sexy Oompa Loompas. <laughs> I want to see that. <laughs> I want to know what that looks like. <laughs> uh, oh. Who's the dress code? Is it the Oopa Loopa one? Yeah. That was mine. I was actually the one that mentioned your name, which I didn't realize about thinking about that when I played that. God, that sounds fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it sound like you're the person making the fucking <laughs> review. Weirdo. 
Oh, Alabama. Do Sweet! Do 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 oh, copyright! Beverly Hills. Copyright. It's not more than seven seconds, so. Um, Why does that one fit? Let's see. Beverly Hills. Uh, I drink caffeine right now. Oh, fuck. Shit. This one makes sense to <laughs> Don't me. Don't mind what the fuck just happened, Jacob. Sure, it wasn't cracker. <laughs> what just happened? I'm talking. I'm okay. Hold on. Give me a second. Speaking of crack. <laughs> Okay, I, I I was about to say I would drink more caffeine right now, but I don't want to have a panic attack so that I could be up longer. <laughs> and then a fucking shock of cold just went through my fucking body. He got possessed a little bit. <laughs> what the fuck? Captain, Captain Crack Sparrow. <laughs> Captain Crack Sparrow. I love Captain Crack. I've seen that. <laughs> I know, he's just like absolute myth. <laughs> he can look like Johnny Depp, dude. That's a funny part. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Beverly Hills. Oh, my stomach is very upset now. The film... They filmed a... the dinner had dairy in it. Excuse me. No. <laughs> Shut up. It's about me now. Beverly Hills... They filmed a bunch of scenes for The Walking Dead here because it has an uh, apocalypse feel to it. <laughs> oh, God. Still riding the high I got from shoplifting here. <coughs> Went here for our anniversary, but the buzzkill waitress kept telling us that one in two marriages end in divorce and asking what we're going to do when we in Vitably split up. Not very romantic. I want to say, damn bitch, who the fuck hurt you today? The fuck? Who's the marriages? No. No? No. Oh, well. And now it's his game over. Yeah. Well, guys, I finally got a very hilarious. A uh, thing from the PT belt thing. You want to hear it? We can talk for like a little bit. Yeah, but here, here let me read this review to you from the PT belt on Amazon. <sighs> I was walking the U UAECC land nav course at, at night and fell down a cliff in the northern back top of the course. Luckily, I had my PT belt in pocket. I took it out of my pocket and proceeded to spin it like a helicopter <laughs> and flew it back to the top. While en route, an Iranian Sam locked onto me. Thankfully, my PT belt meant. At thanks with my PT belt, I managed to blind its sensors and cause it to return to its launcher and convert to Christianity. Ten out of ten, what best I've ever done. <laughs> also, the intrusive thoughts, I feel like they want to take over right now, and I want to be the dick hole who mixes up the yellow and orange cards together. <laughs> That's red, and this fuck is yellow. Up, listen. And this Shut is yellow. Fuck up. Actually, we need to ask Derek what colors they are. This is red. This is yellow. Anyway, one. intrusive thoughts. I want to mix them up. This would be an asshole. They're red and orange. <laughs> we were both wrong. It's yellow! Oh my god. Is it yellow? About the color of my pants, yeah. I don't know. It kind of looks like a school bus. Oh god. Yeah. Seriously, we can go with that color. By the way, are school buses yellow? Or are they orange? They're yellow. They're always referred to as yellow. And, uh, but that's like the same color that they say the yellow pencils are. They ain't yellow. <laughs> what the fuck? They are pencil? yellow. So are they got pencils? Guys. No. Yeah. Everyone on this podcast, if you actually look up PT Belt and actually read the reviews, they're the most hilarious thing you'll ever fucking read. <laughs> Though they will be. Read the ones for Harry Bows. Harry Bows? Okay. Sugar free Harry Bows. It might take me a minute because my single sucks. Let's just talk uh, for a bit now. Um, what is the most hilarious review that you've ever read, Jacob? My, um, Have you actually ever read people's reviews? No. I, I saw one where this one person 
he rated something like one star, and he said that this isn't actually a bad review. I actually like this place. I just hate the color yellow, and five stars is the color yellow, and this one's the color of, like, blue if I voted one star or some shit. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I had a stroke when I saw that. <laughs> Excuse see. me? I'm trying to find the fucking shits thing here. Hold on. Let's see. It's sugar-free hairy bows. You know, I heard this really fucked up joke earlier today. Huh. So, little Johnny, he he's an adult and he became a doctor. And huh. uh, he went to go check out the uh, Indian tribes, you know, about COVID-19 and all that, you know. Mm-hmm. And once he gets there, it was nothing but a tribe of men. Is this going to be racist? No. <laughs> probably, actually, if it's, if it's anything with little Johnny, it's probably either sexist or racist. It's sexist. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks for the clarification. Anyway, <laughs> it's nothing but men, and he started to ask you questions. How do you guys deal with your sexual tensions? It was like, wake up in the morning, meet me at the river, and we'll show you. And so he wakes up early in the morning, they're all down there at the river. He sees a donkey down there. He says, you go first, since we're the ones... <laughs> Since you're the guest. So, he starts making love with the fucking donkey. About ten minutes later, uh, the leader of the tribe goes, Are you done yet? Because we need that donkey to get to the women. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's not sexist. That's fucking straight up bestiality. <laughs> Everything about that entire joke was fucked up. It just, that, it just took an entire turn. Oh, my God. Uh, I feel like death. <coughs> you want to take the antibiotics instead? Oh, God. They're killing my head and my stomach, and I feel dizzy. Oh, my God. Listen to this review yeah. about the gummy bears. Oh, you finally found one? Yeah, it took I, you that long? I'm sorry. I just couldn't find the right one. Anyway, man, I picked these up because they were sugar-free and I'm trying to watch my weight. Well, let's talk about weight. Because these bad boys will remove the weight weight in one sitting. I mean, kaboom! And the weight is gone. I have a massive rash on my colon, osma, <laughs> and my excessive bowel movement. <laughs> to get it after eating a few, I can definitely remove the paint from my uh, from a wall with the odor or you, you, t- you let out. Hello, oh, well, I mean, wow. Eat these with caution and near... And near a fire hole, please. Fire hole, please. <laughs> oh my god. I told you, that, and there's a whole bunch of them last time I read them. Okay, here's a short one. These are actually really good, but the reviews about massive gastric disturbance did not lie. After one <laughs> ceremony, you will live, the, live in the bathroom for the rest of the night. Oh, God. That's why you don't eat too many sugar-free candies, where you're going to shit everything out that you've ever eaten, ever. Oh, God. I fucking love reviews. Oh, God. Those absolute, like, unhinged reviews that you read. Honestly, my favorite my favorite P.T. Bell one was that Christianity one. It's actually the top-rated review on that. Hmm. I'm sorry, I feel like shit. Jacob's playing with his phone, he's not talking. Well, here's a mattress comment that I found. A mattress one? Yeah. I thought those were for money laundering, not sleeping. Well, it says, I don't know if it's funny or not, but it says it's funny. Today I bought a new mattress despite spending 600 notes on the Witch Best Buy 2018 mattress in September. I have advice for you. When someone suggests you buy a memory foam based mattress, such as the award winning Emma mattress, you remove them from your friends group before throwing them in a river. What? <laughs> Rather than buy one, I suggest you sue together. Wait, I just I'm- remember something. Speaking of fucking mattresses, fuck you Facebook, what's with the fake mattress ads and the ads about fat people like me blowing out their fucking beds? Okay, I feel attacked a little bit. Sue I together. that big, I think. Rather than buy one, I suggest you sew together, or you sew together 50 pillows, which you place on top of the hot plate, and use for that for a bed. Sweating your head off with, with the window open 
and no covers on. In January, when you take 100 euros and hire a boat drive, it is as far offshore as you can. Before setting fire to the other 500 euros, note by note. Forgive us, everyone in this room is illiterate. We all can't fucking read for shit. Watching them drop into <laughs> mercy <laughs> water beneath yourself. Bro, I can't fucking read either. I fully admit it. You then come home, drink Am I the seven only liters. One who's literate? Come home, drink seven liters of water, ready for another Man, award shut winning up. Words sleep. Are hard. Pillow. Right, Hot Jacob? <laughs> Yet again, I'm the only one here with a writing hobby, so... And bro, you were stuttering as shit when you were reading. So you can't read, just no. <laughs> it's not about reading well. I have a speech impediment, thank you. Here's wood floors. <laughs> I don't, I'm just stupid. <laughs> you can't say animal. Aminal. See? Fuck. <laughs> Everyone heard it, right? <laughs> Fuck. Sometimes I mess up the word amin. Actually, Fuck. now it's I, happening. I'm Anime. Gonna, I'm going to tell you one of my favorite reviews that I've Amine. heard about DoorDash. Yeah. Amine. Amine. That's been happening a lot lately, and Derek's been roasting shit out of me for it because I've been pronouncing <laughs> Amine. Fuck. M M A. Um, fuck. See, you bring it up, and then it's going to happen. Just don't bring it up, and then I won't fuck up the word. Sometimes. Synonym. Synonym. Fuck. Synonym. Which one? I said synonym, not cinnamon. Cinnamon. Fuck. Synonym. Synonym. You know those uh, water that... There's no uh at the end of it. Shut the fuck up. You know that up. automatic water ass wiper? A what? bidet? I guess. That's... Don't say baguette. <laughs> Remember the croissant you gave me? <laughs> In high school, <laughs> uh, I went to go buy a. I wanted to buy a Aurora corsage, and I. No, you wanted to buy me a croissant. I, I called it a croissant. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Well, here's uh, some you bread. It was so pretty. It was so cute. And he gave it to me, and he's like, "I hope you like your croissant." And I was like, "Repeat that again to me." What the fuck did you just call it? <laughs> my family, my dad. <laughs> Okay, we'll talk about that one after this one. So there's this guy. Delivery by, but he touched my butt. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> so this guy was a door. To, this guy was a, a a Grubhub. This guy was in Grubhub. I mean, so this guy says the guy was pretty quick. It was quite unexpected and sort of an inconvenience because I was balls deep in my wife at the time. But we'll <laughs> take five out of five. Five out of five. We'll 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 recommend you. <laughs> so we'll call me that to you. No, that was someone else's thing. I'm sorry, but if Jared got that review, I think he'd probably end it that night and then come home to tell us all about it. No, no joke. I accidentally got an, an order to go pick up to my own house. Yeah, I ordered like Little Caesars one day. But she ordered on the Little Caesars. I remember app, that. Not DoorDash, because I was running DoorDash. I remember that, because I heard her screaming and laughing. So I wanted to. <laughs> oh, what's this? I had a fucking meltdown. Because it was like, you're a driver, Dave. I was living in a basement Seas. at the time, so I had a. I walked all the way up the stairs just to go see what the fuck was going on. Now, I, now here's this. Let me finish here. So, I was. Do, so, since we were ordered on Little Caesars app, they run it through DoorDash, so I was not. So DoorDash wasn't able to know this was my own house. So, <laughs> so when Aurora made the order, I, I I pick up the order, and the next thing you know, I see the name Aurora B. Aurora B. Yeah, you should have saw my face when I saw Derek C. I just fucking lost I my see, shit. I took a screenshot. I sent lost it to her. my shit. Yeah, and at the exact same time you sent it to me, Jacob was up the stairs and I was laughing my fucking ass off trying to figure out what to do. God. And then 
when and I, I showed... left him a review <laughs> saying that he was a hot delivery boy <laughs> and to send him again. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird day for me. <laughs> and then I gave him a kiss before he left because I asked if I could have a tip. <laughs> Not that type of tip! Right now. I'll give you the tip. Don't worry. God damn it, no. <laughs> I, uh, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Actually, damn, did you just take a whole pot roast and what the fuck is that? That just scared the shit out of me. Jacob just literally has a whole pot roast in his hand. No, I thought it was a whole chicken. <laughs> Does that make it any better? Like I felt like I was having a fever dream. Okay, I'm not feeling well right now, okay? I'm not firing... Oh, fuck. Oh, I thought he was holding a fucking chicken carcass and bit into it. But I also thought it was also Dude, raisin you need a plate bread. I also, I also thought it was raisin bread from a certain light, and I couldn't tell what it was. The thing, the thing is, though, Jacob's just eating it like an apple. <laughs> he has a whole ass pot roast, and he's just eating it like an apple. Look, I'm single. What? What? What the fuck does that have to do with anything? That means Bruh, I'm sharing I've been no one. single before too. I never ate like that. The hey, fuck? No. Out of all fairness, though, when I when I I was by myself and you and Sophie were visiting your parents at the time, I did order me a big ass bucket of KFC and just ordered like only mashed potatoes as the so four sides. <laughs> And just put them all in a bowl and just ate the bowl. So, <laughs> well, what I'm saying is, I'm single. I don't have a shower, so I'm just gonna eat it like this. So I can't speak, eat on on, uh, on your favor on this Aurora because I I do stupid shit like this too. So I think we gotta end it soon. How far have we gone? Oh my god, uh, we've been in uh, over forty minutes now, so we can stop now. All right, Miss Squishy is feeling upset. Well, we gotta see who won. So, or how many points? Oh you got? shit! I forgot all about the game. I only have two points, game points, but I have three bonus points, so I have five. What? I have three game points and two bonuses. We're in a tie. How the fuck did we still fucking tie? And we tied with Trump. It's a three-way fucking <laughs> tie. We have to do a tiebreaker. Uh, we have to do a tiebreaker round. Trump has oh to be excluded. Fuck. I don't want to. We have to do at least it, one tiebreaker. This is going to be one card. I threw all my cards away. Congrats I don't seven. even know what I did with it. Oh, wait. Never mind. They're right here. <laughs> yeah. So. Wait. 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 No, we don't. I had three points. You had three game points? Yeah, so I had six in total. Uh, I won. We're doing stitching, bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> I was going to do funny scenarios. I'm too bad. Anyway, guys, what do you think about this uh, podcast, Trump? Was it good? Yes, no? No. I have no idea. <laughs> good enough. This is so, how I feel right now. <laughs> oh, no. One. You one. all better get your crochet on. All right, so... Your winner speech? Suck my dick. <laughs> Present it. Bring it here. Bye. Where's your dick, Aurora? Go, get, go look in the mirror. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess my loser speech is, um, or I give Aurora the I tip. I basically just told you to go suck yourself. <laughs> anyway, my, my loser speech is I'll give Aurora the tip. No. He's still <laughs> eating that thing like it's a fucking apple. What the fuck? It'll probably make your stomach feel better anyway. Also, Jacob, get a fucking plate. No, I feel like I'm going to throw up right now. What? I think Jacob was referring to the tip. Man, I don't even know where I am anymore. I want I want to go take a bath. All right. I feel stinky. Well, the winner of the podcast is Aurora, and it's just going to be me and Jacob again. Yep, we're going to learn to crochet, and we're going to talk shit. Thank so you. I'm going to figure out what's the current topic next week. That we're gonna talk about, and then we're gonna. I thought the topic it. was that that stitching bitch was that we get to complain about whatever we wanted. Yeah, it's that too, but like it also helps to bring up topics. I'll probably complain on what's happening in the moment. I don't <laughs> <want to change. laughs>
It's okay. Not, not We're going to be making pot holders. I'm pretty sure you guys will survive. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right, guys. See you later. All right. Podcast out. <laughs>